hello everyone welcome to another video and in this video I'm gonna talk about the economy of the great Canada it's a very interesting topic and from this video you can learn and understand a lot regarding the economy of the Canada so let's start first I will give you the overview of the economy of Canada then I will be going in depth for each topic regarding like GDP or different so Canada is a North American country located just close to US having border with the US and it having 10 provinces and three territories the, uh, the language in the Canada is English and French majority people speak English and there's only one province that having majority people speaking French Capital is Ottawa and largest city is Toronto. Domains is Canadian, people of Canada known as Canadian. Then the total area is somewhere around 9.9, .9, you can say 9.9 .9 million square kilometer. And the population estimate is 38 uh, million. And the GDP is 2.2 trillion dollar. Per capita is 57,000 on average and if you say nominal GDP is 2.2 trillion per capita is somewhere 57,000 human development index is very high and the currency is Canadian dollar driving side is right so this is the overview and like now I'm going to deep I'm going in depth of each topic so we start with the GDP of Canada in terms of value so if you see in 2012 the GDP was grown up to like 1828.37 and if you see there's a downside in 2016 and then it's growing back again so you can see the Canadian economy is growing on a very constant rate this only if you accept remove 15 and 16 then there is pretty good growth for the Canadian economy so you see the previous growth was 1700 billion dollars and the, the last one is 1600 billion dollar per capita in 2020 it was recorded 44 or you can say 45 US dollar and the last one is 42 so purchasing power is around 45 previous was 49 so is the change you can see is impact of pandemic GDP from transport is pretty good for the Canada is 78 Canadian million dollar 78 thousand Canadian million dollar and the majority of GDP have the impact from service sector because Canadian economy is a business class economy majority our business is here and the people work a lot and so the earning for the GDP is coming from the service sector so this is regarding GDP then comes to the unemployment rate you can see the if I say 10 year the employment is went high because of pandemic then it's coming back down but still the unemployment rate in Canada is around 5.1% 5. 5. or average 5% and the previous was for the current month previous was 5.20 and the last is 5.10 then employment percent is around uh, you can say 1057 uh, these are numbers in thousands so if you see here employed person is 19,640 then part-time employment is going going down because uh, it's happened due to pandemic as well and there's so many reasons like people who are coming to study Canada they the rate is going down and the majority part-time work is done by the students so students are coming less and that's the reason you can see the negative full-time employment is growing and that's the reason because 
the student who came and because Canadian economy have the major uh, major impact from the international student and they when they complete their studies they become full time rather than part time so there's no more part time coming they are coming but very less but majority are working as a full time so uh, youth youth employment is pretty high and the reason is uh the support from the government people if you say young people they are very less likely to work here till the age of like you can say 25 something labor cost is 124 point then the wages is 26 28.68 per hour that's the you can say the average wage according to per capita then the minimum minimum is 15000 population is 38 million and the employment rate is 61% of the total population average hourly earning is 32 dollar and job vacancies is very high and it's because of the shortage of people that have to work that was regarding unemployment now comes to the inflation rate so if you see the graph you can see it's growing and if i go for the 10 year or if i go for the 25 year you can see now canadian economy having the highest inflation rate from in comparison to the last 25 or 30 years and currently is ranking somewhere around 7.7% percent. and the previous was 6.8% so you the main thing you can understand is the export prices is growing and the import prices also import is constant but the export prices is also growing food inflation is 8% and this impact a lot because people in canada they depend mainly on the uh, grocery stores they don't grow their food so it's a major role that that's a major role in the inflation then canada government debt how much canadian government owing for the economy so if you see last 10 years currently they are sitting on a, around 717% of the gdp so you see average person may be owing somewhere around whatever is the gdp because it's ranking more than that 17% more than the gdp and and here you can see the actual is 17 170 the previous was 86 if you go for 20 year 25 year you can see the highest number 50 years it's ranking the highest and it's not a good indication because more G- more debt the government will having the more chances of having uh the cri- recession or the crisis in the economy now con- comes to the canada export because canadian uh, economy is based on import export so you see the export is growing and if you go for 25 years chart you can see is growing in a very rapid pace the downfall is because of the pandemic other than it's growing very rapid if you see the balance of trade is 15 uh, 1500 canadian million dollars current account is also like 5000 million dollars export rank around 64000 canadian million dollar import ranks 62000 canadian then comes to the import so canadian import is also you can see 25 year is growing but the growth from the export is more because the thing is if you having a business in canada there's a too much support from the government and when you have the support from the government you likely to expand the business into another countries and that's the reason you can see the import is having less growth and export is having more and the balance of trade i already discussed here on the oil export the point that i want to cover is, is still in canada is the one of the major 
resource that have in, in Canada that Canadian economy earn a lot from oil so that was something regarding Canadian economy and I hope you had an now overview of the Canadian economy if you have any question please let me know thank you for watching